Hi, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. This tutorial is going to be a quick one about driving on the expressway. The middle lane is the smooth lane. So the speed limit here is 55 miles an hour. Slow moving traffic stays to the right. So there's a semi truck to my right. This is going to be an inside view today. Whenever you're driving at higher speeds, you don't need to turn the steering wheel as much. You want to keep space, you want to take your time, and you have to look ahead. So I'm maintaining good speed control, but now you can't see it. I'm in the truck's blind spot. So you always want to keep space. So the driver ahead of me is tapping their brakes. I'm going to make a lane change to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. I'm smooth. The lane to the left is the passing lane. So I'm actually in the left lane right now. So I'm looking for a gap. I'm looking for a space. And the speed limit just has changed to 70 miles an hour. I need to get back over to the right lane, so I'm at about 69 miles an hour. You can't exceed the speed limit to pass someone. So I'm looking over on my shoulder, mirror turn signal, blind spot. Man, that was a good lane change. How do you know a good lane change? The car is smooth, you don't jerk the wheel. So I'm in the middle lane again, I'm at uh, 65 miles an hour. More traffic is moving. I see a car to my right speeding, so they're probably going to end up cutting me off. You always have to be a defensive driver and anticipate what other cars will do. So when you're driving along, you want to stay smooth. The car that's going to cut me off and pass me is to my left, to my right. So young driver, she's looking to cut in front of me. I saw her take a peek and she's getting ready to cut me off. These are the things you have to anticipate. So she's got her blinker on for blinks. That's not bad. I'm getting back over to the right lane, mirror turn signal blind spot. So you see how important it is that you use your blinker. You see how important it is that you don't turn the steering wheel uh, when you are when when you don't when you turn it too hard because you're at higher speeds. The slower you go, the more you need to turn the wheel. I'm at about 66 miles an hour. I'm in a slow lane to the right. My exit is coming up. I turn on my blinker. I'm now in the deacceleration lane. My foot is off the gas. I'm at about 56 miles an hour. I'm at 55. If you slow down too fast, you'll get rear-ended. There's a white minivan behind me. So if I slow down too fast, you'll rear me. If I don't slow down enough, I'll lose control. So I'm turning on my left turn signal because at the bottom of this ramp, you have three choices. You can go straight, you can make a left, or you can make a right. Also, this is a double left turn uh, exit ramp. So I want to be in the middle lane, the left middle lane, because when I make my left, I want to be by the curb. So now I'm on my brakes, nice and smooth, taking my time. I'm scanning the intersection, looking ahead, making sure I have a green light, making sure it's clear. I'm in the appropriate lane. I have broken white lines to help guide me. I'm turning nice and smooth, and I turn out really smooth. I have to make a right turn up here, so you see me turn on my blinker, 100 feet, a half a block. I'm taking my time. I'm merging in really nice. I just check my mirror and turn signal and blind spot. I'm having a nice slowdown. This is what a good drive feels like when you're taking your road test or DMV test. I can turn on red, but I need to stop first. Then I go up and check traffic, which I've done. Now it's clear, I turn into the nearest lane, I turn out smoothly, and I'm scanning the intersection because this ramp, people are coming off the expressway and they may not stop. So my speed control is really nice, I'm taking my time, I am nice and smooth. I need to make a right hand turn into this private drive coming up, my blinker's on, I'm at about 37 miles an hour going real smooth and easy, taking my time. So let's review. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. I've been doing driver's ed about 21 years. I need you to subscribe to my channel. It's called Driving with Miles. M-Y-L-E-S. More tutorials are coming. Thank you.